here are the biochar uh, producing uh, structures here uh, these are uh, traditional uh, things created using the bricks having a diameter of uh, 12 feet and uh, 10 to 12 feet height so these structures are for uh, producing biochar within a period of 7 days right from uh, filling uh, material in one day and preparing the wood that happens prior then again when they start uh, pyrolysis uh, then it takes at least 3 days for the whole thing to get cooked that's the term that they use locally otherwise it's called pyrolysis under less oxygen conditions the wood is converted into char the charcoal so that is biochar then uh, it need to cool down so here they are not using uh, any uh, water or any soil or anything but uh, they are letting it to cool down naturally and maybe if there are some embers they put some water very little water they sprinkle they extract everything conveniently by going inside and then they extract so this is one of the best it is a, a medium uh, pyrolysis uh, uh, technology otherwise we have fast pyrolysis and very slow pyrolysis so in the same very place uh, we can find two other uh, pyrolysis methods uh, that is the mound method earth mound method the huge structures even up to 5 to 6 months the tons and tons of uh, biochar is produced there as well as within one month producing earth mound uh, structures are also there so in fast pyrolysis uh, usually uh, in this kind of technology the density of the biochar or by the weight even that feeling that we can have is slightly less but whereas in very slow pyrolysis uh, the quality is they say very good and they can fetch very good value in the market also so ultimately that is fixed carbon that we are looking into in the whole uh, technology and uh, here it goes for right from uh, the bias biochar for soil amendment applications to uh, especially for burning in the steel industry the cooking coal grade also happens here so the biomass that is used is prosopis juliflora uh, subabul or eucalyptus or various other uh, feed stock that comes here including root stock uh, that is uprooted uh, plants and other things they come up here so these are uh, basically exotic uh, Uh, plants especially prosopi juliflora so it adds uh, lots of value to the local community for livelihoods and uh, uh, as well as managing the existing biomass in this local environment and as this addresses the climate change issues also so these are the new emerging livelihood uh, uh, opportunities for the local communities and uh, these people from vinukonda uh, which is in the, this uh, part of andhra pradesh they are highly skilled i think this kind of skills we require in many parts of india or even globally so that we can address this important issue of biochar production how to produce and other things of course industrial scale biochar production methods are there but they are too costly and artisanal uh, biochar that is one grade even that is eligible for carbon credits i think uh, this is one of the best i would suggest and recommend that is one of the reason with nature's voice i am here today Uh, trying to explain uh, this kind of things which are forgotten or people think they don't have a good technology in their hand and uh, let us train more people and let us encourage communities and let them get more livelihoods and let us regenerate more biomass by applying biochar this is the inside structure where the biochar is being produced here so we could see across that is about 12 feet uh, there yeah. and then this is about 10 feet to 12 feet height it goes so this is called kunda a local language so it is constructed with bricks and with soil local soil so it is joined only by local soil outside it is made with the cordon so that is for uh, so that it becomes uh, air tight so no air escapes from inside or no air enters inside and uh, because this is soil and uh, this is very low cost and uh, eco friendly also this particular structure and this is one of the best uh, pollution less uh, production methods of biochar and here uh, you could see on of the windows here this window is larger than all other holes that are given in this structure and there is one door here so actually this door is used for uh, feeding the 
biomass like prosopis, juliflora, subabul, eucalyptus or any other uh, plants that are available locally. And uh, then uh, what happens is they put the charcoal from here, the embers or the charcoal burning things inside after packing with the wood. And then uh, they close all the bottom holes and they leave only these top holes here at this level. So there's some oxygen, uh, they will not leave all the holes also, they leave only few holes at a time. So there is some oxygen entering into this chamber. So this they starts the pyrolysis reaction to continue. It means with very less oxygen, the uh, formation of this biochar happens. And uh, this goes to the top uh, burning as well as the uh, same thing goes down uh, burning. So this way within three days the whole complete burning happens but they don't take it immediately. That's so cool now and uh, conveniently they are able to harvest here after the six days. So today is the seventh day. So this is one of the uh, best methods. Uh, this has been proved globally and in many countries this kind of uh, technologies uh, since times immemorable, uh, things are happening. So you could see even in developed countries like US or Africa or many places. But the artisans who are working in this kind of technology are very few. That we have to remember. So if you have more skilled people, then definitely uh, the biochar production is not a big issue. Here is one of the largest earth mound cleans I have seen in my life. And uh, here, about uh, more than 150 feet in length and around 100 feet in width and uh, about more than 10 feet in height. So everything is packed with the Prosopis juliflora, the locally available exotic uh, plant. So it would take around five months minimum for the production of the biochar. And we know within next uh, uh, four or five months we are going to have the rains. But still, they know that uh, this works out during this period to start with. So what they do is they put up this uh, bark over this. Uh, they put up this bark over this and then they also put the soil and they completely make it airtight and they leave only a few holes here and there for some air to enter. So very little air is required for pyrolysis. So once they light it from the top, so with slow pyrolysis from top to bottom it goes down and then the total production happens. So this is a slow pyrolysis method. Here the yield is very good actually. So the commercial value when they sell it, uh, they are getting good money. And here uh, the monitoring is required definitely. So in every uh, this uh, other cleans and other things we are seeing, everywhere continuous monitoring is required. That's why they have their residential places here only. Uh, and uh, this is a, a skill based technology. And only people who are skilled they can do. It is not uh, just uh, uh, anybody can do it just like that. And uh, the people here from uh, centuries they had been doing in this part of the drought prone uh, area, the Vinukonda, uh, where we are now in Andhra Pradesh state. So they, it's a very uh, livelihood uh, based opportunity also because we are addressing right from climate change too. And uh, currently the uh, carbon credits and many things are related to this one because we need to ultimately sequestrate this uh, carbon. So applying this as biochar into the soil or into various environmental solutions, this is helping us a lot. And uh, we have other uh, earth mound cleans where it takes only one month, that's a smaller one I will show. And then there is a live one which is going on for the past uh, few months, two, three months and it is still continuing. Here in the background, we can see how biochar is being produced by the earth mound clean method. So here all the biomass, once it is laid as a heap, then over that uh, they put up the clay, local clay, and which is airtight. Then they leave only few holes at the bottom. And at the top, by removing some clay, they put up some fire or embers, then they close it. So the slow pyrolysis happens from top to bottom. So this kind of pyrolysis uh, takes for this kind uh, the size about one month period actually. So this is a, a very low cost technology where the skilled workers if they can go to the in situ places where the biomass is available like this is an area known for prosophy juliflora. So they can start this kind of things once we have the skilled people. So monitoring is very essential. If there are any leakages, the whole thing can turn into ash. 
or sometimes it can blast because there could be an accumulation of gases so suddenly they get combusted so such risks are also there even when people move around this mound or when they climb it the collapsing of the mound should not we have to be very cautious sometimes it happened some people got burnt their bodies while working with them so here uh, that's why the skill and training is very much required and we need some institutions and ITAs at least working for this kind of skilled people for biochar production.